Paul, like always, I want to thank you guys for making the trip and covering us. Um, open by saying that was the prettiest win I've ever seen in my 20 years. Uh, the water tastes better right now. The Gatorade tests better. Uh, your questions are going to be better. Uh, everything is good right now. Really, really proud of our guys. Um, you know, we went in there afterwards. You know, we went down and saw Kaiser on Wednesday. And uh, everything we asked that guy about what we could do to help him, and all he wanted to talk about was the team and how much he missed the team and how proud he was of, of Marcus Allen, and all he wanted was the win. So uh, we took a picture in the locker room with his jersey, and we're sending that to him. So uh, really, really proud of our guys. Obviously, some notes, fewest points that Indiana's given up this year. Um, held Tevin Coleman to 71 yards. I think he had 10 straight 100-yard rushing games. Um, we've won three or four games on the road this year, which, which is a good stat. Bill Belton, this is an amazing stat to me. It kind of shocks me, but the fact that Bill Belton has the longest touchdown run in Penn State history, uh, 92 yards, and then a fourth career 100-yard rushing game. So really proud of those guys. Um, I thought, you know, overall, uh, special teams did what they had to do. Uh, we got to do a better job of kickoff. Uh, Ficken has been unbelievable with field goals but we got to do a better job of being able to kick the ball deep in the end zone. Grant Haley, I think, has been special all year long. Talking about a guy in open space, tackling arguably week in and week out, their best open field runner, and he's been, he's been really, really good at it. Um, I thought Pascarello was a little bit better. I don't know what the stats say, but I thought he was a little bit better today. He handled a bad snap. I thought that was a big play in the game. Our defense was great throughout, and our offense found a way. We're a little bit more productive with the running game. Obviously, we still got some issues uh, with protection um, and, and, and being able to run the ball consistently. But again, this is the prettiest win I've had in my 20 years of coaching. And I'm looking forward to getting back on that bus and head back home. Enjoy this win for a couple hours, if you guys will let us. And then wake up tomorrow morning and enjoy uh, getting prepared for our next opponent. So open it up for questions. Can I possibly have a Gatorade or a water or something? Yeah, I, I don't know about that. You know, their job is is to you know go out and get three and outs and get turnovers, and you know support our offense. And our offense job is to support the defense. And we all support special teams. <laughs> Is there times that that's going to come up? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. And that's that's when the team needs the defense to respond. And, and they've done a great job of that all year long. James, what did you and Bob want to do against Coleman? Well, what we wanted to do is, is do what we've really done all year long. And that's you know make people one-dimensional and stop the run. That's something that we've been able to do. We've been effective in the passing game as well because we've been able to get pressure. Um, on quarterbacks. This guy was a lot slippery than, than we thought. We hadn't really seen that on film. Um, but I thought, I thought, you know, obviously, you know, we were really gap sound. We were aggressive. We were able to get off blocks and things like that. Um, thank you very much. And um, again, we were able to stop a good rusher. You know, you, you look at his statistics, their offense really went hand in hand with him. They were not an efficient offense. They would go zero yards, two yards, three yards, and then break an 80 yarder. And they've been doing that week in and week out. And we've done a pretty good job. We put an emphasis on stopping explosive plays. So I don't know if we did a whole lot more than what other people had done all uh, down in and down out. What we were able to do is stop the big plays. And uh, you know, I think Jeff was telling me he's had a run of like 43 yards or longer you know, in, in, in almost every game this year. You know? So it, it's an amazing stat. And I thought our defense did a great job, again, of stopping the run. Um, beautiful. Would you prefer beautiful? Wonderful? Um, I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't have a whole what lot. What's so pretty about it? It's a W. You know. Uh, you know. We're gonna enjoy wins around here, and um, you know, after the uh, some of the emotional games that we've had, um, you know, we'll take we'll take 25 more of these. You know, we'll take as many of them as we can get, and I, I think there, it says something that when you can go out there and you can find a way to get a win.
know, when maybe you didn't play your best football in all three phases. I thought you played great on a, on a defense. But, um, you know, you got to find a way to gut these games out. We did that earlier in the year. We got away from it a little bit, and now we're back on it. So we're going to enjoy it.